Just talk generally. I think the thing to get across is the big thing, Anna, is look, social distancing is everywhere. You know, in the panic to get food, you're forgetting about the virus. And uh, and you're all clogging together close in supermarkets. And and but the big thing was this thing about my boss. And I don't think she she did. There was no deliberateness to try and harm anybody in what she was doing. She was just following the instructions of her boss, regional boss above her. Right. And she was she was saying to me, oh, wait, wait, to get things through quicker, you know, if you get a customer who's got a big trolley and they're on their own, come out from behind the till, go and stand next to them and help them unpack their trolley onto the conveyor belt. I.e., stand right next to somebody, so you might as well be in a bar with them, talking to them to help them unpack their trolley. Well, listen, can, can, if I can, contagion, if I can contagion. You, Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'm recording the conversation. So from this point onwards, um, yes. I'll record the conversation, and we can publish this, and people can be aware of what's happening. So, yes. um, can you tell me, without giving your name yes. or anything else, you work in a supermarket in Devon, in England, yes, and you have concerns about what's happening now. Can you tell me who you are, anything you're comfortable to share, and uh, and what the situation is right now where you are? Okay, well, I'm not going to give you my, na my name, obviously, because I work in a supermarket and I don't want to lose my job. But I, but I feel that, you know, um, this is a highly contagious disease, this coronavirus. We can all see what's going on around the world. And this virus doesn't change just because it's on British soil rather than in Italy or Spain or China. And um, as you can see in all those countries, supermarket workers, for a long time now, they've had protective masks and other protective items like gloves. Um, serving the public and we haven't had that in Britain you know well certainly not in England um, and certainly not where, where I've been working um, I've checked on another on different supermarkets and I know one supermarket had um, Dettol spray the week before last that the, the workers were supposed to use on their hands um, or, or around their environs and, I, and the following week it, where I was I got hand gel but, you know, you have to understand that these hand gels, with loads of customers coming through, you can only work them into your hands every now and again. Or perhaps if you see a customer you have doubts about who's coughing in your direction. And after a little while, they make your hands papery. Your hands start to open up into cuts and start bleeding. And, um, you know, well, customers can, I... cough on, can cough on you. You've not got a mask on. You can be then um, t and taking money. You're taking money from them, which has germs on, and then you're serving other people. And all I these was... customers at your tiller at close, close, I know, close I proximity to each other. I was, in, I was out, out last night, and the last night yeah. the pubs were open, and lots yes. lot of pubs were only taking cards. And then I went to the same mm. place, and they were handling cash, and there was no yes. hand sanitizer. And they were yes. handling cash and money. And I thought, well, and they're, and they're recruiting. They're a, there's a health and safety issue here because they are recruiting. Mm. And, and there's no protection for these people. There's no protection for the supermarket workers who by now we've served hundreds and hundreds of people over the last few weeks. We could be carrying it. Um, customers are in the shop. They're talking to people they bump into, you know, that neighbours they haven't seen for a while, talking to them like they would do in a pub. Um, all sorts of things are going on. There's no social distancing. Um, and, no, you know, if you really think about it, it, these supermarkets are a big health issue at the moment, and no one's looked, thinking about that side of things. So what, what's your suggestion or recommendation? Well, you know, I think that what's happened here is because everyone's been going into the supermarkets, the supermarkets haven't really had to really think about anything other than trying to provide the food, have they? You know, if people had been staying away from supermarkets, they might have by now thought, oh, God, we've got to protect our businesses. We'd better start getting deliveries out to people from the shops as well as from online. Um, get this, and this is, this is something I was, I was going to put forward, you know, that why don't we close the supermarkets and get the, get the stuff, new staff that are in to just box up stuff to set, to take, take out in vans to the customers and drop them on doorsteps. Some sort of logistics like that, because we have to think of something like this, because there's, there's no point in not going to bars and not going to work if everybody from the community lands at their local supermarket on a Saturday, fighting for food at close proximity to each other and passing this virus on. Absolutely. I'm just at a neighbour's house about to give him some food. I'm going to call you back, OK? Uh, um, yes. We'll, we'll talk again. Good.
give me two minutes because I've got to. Yes. Um, I'm literally at the door. Um, okay. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll I'll uh, record this and let you know what you think.